Hello, everybody. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to walk you through designing of a bracket and then uh, using topology optimization for minimizing the weight and maximizing the strength, which we'll talk about it step by step. Uh, I'm going to do it through a very simple example. Suppose uh, we are asked to design a simple bracket that connect these uh, uh, maybe joint or uh, whatever mechanism to this fixed plane. Well, uh, initially we come up with this very simple design. As you can see, we attach the plate, we attach the joint to the plate, and we may decide to use uh, like six bolts here and then some knots there to fix it, and then we are done with the design, right? Uh, however, uh, after we do the stress analysis, we may decide that some uh, materials in this bracket are not necessarily so we can uh, maybe chop off some of these corners or maybe we carve out uh, some excessive material to make it lighter. So we'll then uh, end up with this design over there, which looks cooler and also we remove some excessive materials. Uh, of course, uh, um, we need to think about how to manufacture that, but that's a topic another for another session. Well, uh, today I'm going to focus on how we can now optimize this bracket, this new bracket, start with this initial shape and make it better, right? Step by step. Well, uh, we need to first define the area that we like to uh, preserve. So to do that, let me just quickly hide the, this mechanism and maybe the plates and knots so I can show you better. So we may decide to keep that region preserved, meaning if I'm removing material, I don't wish to remove any uh, material from that region. And similarly, around the knots and bolts or the attachment, I don't want to remove any material. So those green area, so now if I hide my initial shape, those are uh, the region that I like to preserve. So uh, let me turn on the rest so we know what's going on there. Our bracket is ready and we just move to uh, generative design. I select structural component and I create a study. So suppose that we have also gravity coming down. If we decide to have gravity in a different direction, depending on the uh, system that you have, you may come up over here and modify the gravity any direction that you actually want right now in z direction right? but we'll keep it as is so what we will do we will follow all these steps uh, or we can follow it from the top menu there uh, i'll start with a new generative study that i'm gonna do and i say study setting uh, we keep the resolution low um, to first check how things are work out because with higher resolution, of course, you would get better result, but it takes longer time. So for now, I'll just set it to low, uh, like somewhere around there. And I click OK. Uh, I need to select the preserve region. I click on preserve and maybe I should uh, actually hide some of the component. Let's just... Uh, hide the initial design, the original design, so I can see them better and I don't get confused. Um, so crank and all this. So these are my preserve and I call them preserve so I don't confuse, I don't get confused. I need to select, let's say this is the pre first preserve, this one, that, that, that. And these are the area that I like to keep preserved. And I click OK. Next, I need to select the obstacles. Obstacles are 
those regions that we know there is this mechanism, the bolts and knots, and we are sure that uh, we don't want anything, any material to be added there. Um, so I'll select actually uh, that as an obstacle. This is an obstacle. Of course, the plate is an obstacle. The knots, the bolts and the knots. And we have six of them, so let's just patiently select all six. All right. So these are the obstacles. Next, uh, I can select the obstacle offset, meaning that I want some offset from this, or we can just leave it as is. And then next, I need to select my uh, start shape i just hide the initial shape so the start shape obviously is what we want there and i select both add and remove material you may decide just to remove material but i go with adding or removing all right so we've done everything like that and if we did everything correctly now we should see these colors yellow is the original shape right or the start shape red are the obstacles and green are the uh, uh, preserve if we can we want to make sure to see them let's just hide the that one yes and that's the preserved region all right next i need to actually define the uh, constraint so we'll start with a structural constraint uh, obviously we need to fix this bracket on this plate uh, let me just hide the bolts nuts and the plate so this is where we know that the mechanism is being fixed and constrained because it's attached to the plate obviously so that's the constraint there So I define my constraint. Next, I need to apply some loads. Um, suppose this handle or lever applying some loads to that shaft. And just for the sake of discussion, let's just go structural loads. And uh, I'm gonna again hide the obstacles, crank that shaft. And maybe even the original design so i can see what's going on there all right so we want to apply some loads let's say from that shaft i need to apply a 4000 load in let's just click click on that one let's say i don't have any load in x direction again for just sake of the discussion here in y direction let's select 2000 loads like in that direction right so that's one load that i have there and maybe let's just apply another load we could have done it simultaneously but i just select not to and as you can see as i'm hiding these it's keep bringing them back because we want to make sure that we apply it correctly so and then let's say in z direction i want to have uh, like four thousand loads right so i have two loads then and hopefully we apply them correctly if you just want to make sure you can click on that and see i have a two thousand there well i don't want that anything there so that's zero so minus four thousand and and 4,000 there. And again, you can apply any other loads, but just for the this example, I decided on these loads. Well, and then I need to select my design criteria. I need to select a, a safety factor. Let's just go with factor of safety two, but depending on your design, you can do that. I'm gonna do minimizing mass. Maybe you go with maximizing stiffness. 
uh, after you repeat the, another it with another study we'll go with minimizing mass and uh, for now we'll just don't care about the modal analysis or displacement we'll just focus on minimizing the mass so that's my criteria and then i'll need to select the manufacturing well i'm gonna go with i'll keep this unrestricted just gonna see what is the shape uh, i'm gonna try additive uh, and in including all directions these are the overhang i'm not gonna do milling for now keep it simple and i'm gonna also compare it with maybe casting as well let's see what is the or what will be the result actually all right so the manufacturing um all right and now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to select the material for this study so if i go to a study material um let's just select the material maybe for this study i'm going to go with uh, aluminum actually just going to drag it and put it there for aluminum but you may try different material as you wish okay so we selected the material everything is good and we'll just check that pre-check there it seems uh things are all in order and uh, it's ready to actually generate a study next what i will do is i uh, gonna uh, click on preview uh, the preview helps us to realize if uh, actually the shape or the uh, space that the design is going to happen is correct. So it takes only a couple of minutes or maybe less depending on your computer, but you should be patient uh, letting this bar get to the end. And I'm going to do that. Well, it's almost there. Yes, we get to the end of the bar. Of course, uh, you can wait and until it makes sure it's done. And now uh, you may turn off the original shape and sort of see what sort of uh, image or what sort of actually component you may get um, right. and this is just the design space all right so this is the not the actual result that you're gonna get all right so what seems correct we'll see it's sitting on the plate and it's fixing around there and we have this design space well i'm going to turn this one on back and i'm ready to uh, go with generating it says uh, preview is in use so we need to quit the preview well and now my study is ready i click on create one study and let's see what will be the result it may take uh, an hour or a couple of hours or maybe shorter depending on your uh, actually uh, CPU and graphic on your computer. Uh, so I'm going to come back. I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to come back uh, in one hour and hopefully uh, it will be done by that time. And while we are waiting there, so it says the thumbnail. All right, I'm going to click OK. So we're going to see actually the design there. So I'll come back when it's ready. Well, uh, I'm back. It seems the uh, solution has been completed. I just close that window and uh, wait, make sure that the uh, uh, result converged. As you see there, there is nine outcome. And we may start uh, checking a few of them. Let's start with 
Uh, this one, I'm just going to check one of them. So this is one of the design. As you see, constraints are there. And it seems to be uh, the bracket that we want. So we expect it. So now um, I may go back and check a few others. Uh, let's just take a look at this one as well. This is very similar to the first one. Um, also, I can over here check the uh, safety factor, the maximum one misses stress, the uh, mass that I got, and many other information. So now to pick the best one, we may also compare them like that. Uh, you can, I just click over there and you can compare different mass so you may select the one that has minimum mass, or you may also try to plot them. For example, the factor of safety versus mass here, or you may just go with, let's say, one misses stress with mass. And anyway, you can uh, view the result, different manufacturing processes like cast, uh, casting, additive manufacturing, and so on, and pick um, any one that is your favorite. So let's just look at that one. It looks a little bit weird. So sometimes when they converge, uh, really the result is not what we want. So I may just ignore that one. I don't like that one. Um, let's just take a look at this one. Seems to be a little bit... Uh, better and reasonable the previous one um, but again just we compare um, the outcome and then we'll decide on one of the design which we believe is is the best so and if i decide on a particular design then i just need to just export it to a design uh, it may take again a minute or so Let's just make sure that we'll get the design. And also we have uh, uh, other functions here. If we want to modify design, we may just click there and then we'll use other uh, features in uh, Fusion 360 to make modification to the design. So I'm just going to give it a minute and see uh, what is the final result that we get. Well, it says it's complete. Now I close it and I can just click here open the design. So I'll get the design and I may save it. Let's say design one. Or I may decide to just copy this design. Let's do that. And let's just finish that part, finish here. And we may just go back to our design and see if I can bring it here for you, paste there. So now let's hide all other parts and components and see if we ended up with a correct part. So I wanna, I don't want my original design. And here we are, our optimum design. The area that we wish to preserve, stay preserved. Let's just now hide them. And we got the final component as we want. If I remove the, uh, Dots, 
So here are the bolts and we are done. All right, thank you very much for listening and uh, you can try again different models and see how it goes.